how I go and shoot a wedding. You want to create something in the world, you have to come out of the condition. I am a lifestyle photographer based out of New Delhi. Pixel Village का जो अप्रोच है, वो जरा अलग है। Hi, hello everyone, good evening, and welcome to Pixel Village, and I'm Radha Krishnan. Well, I'm sure you're all, you know, at home, safe. Hope your near ones are safe. You're taking care of uh, everyone close to you. That's what is most most important uh, these days. And not being over adventurous and you know trying to go out and because it's it's very natural because you are you know uh, you've been at home for a very long long period, which is not really uh, uh, you know we are we are on we are as photographers are not really used to doing that so. But we are forced to do it for our own and uh, everyone else's, uh, you know, uh, well-being. So how I hope you are all doing that. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for joining in today. I can see a fantastic crowd already uh, there uh, to listen to our guest today. Um, so. Uh, well, I must definitely admit uh, that I am not in the best of, uh, you know, uh, mood. So I'm, I'm not exactly inspired these days to do things the way we uh, uh, do things in Pixel Village. But however, when it comes to photography, uh, I think I, I kind of tends to tend to forget everything else and jump right in. Uh, it is definitely a challenging time uh, for most of us personally and professionally but i think uh, you know by by now we all know that we have to go through it <clears throat> sorry what is more important is to you know sail through this difficult period uh with the least amount of uh, uh trauma or confusion if if you can uh, as much as you can well without any delay uh, i'd like to introduce to you uh, this evening's guest, we're going to have a quick, interesting session today with uh, none other than uh, our favorite uh, uh, mentor at Pixel Village, one of the finest uh, photographer in South India, and 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 he's also an amazing photography teacher. Um, so I'd like to welcome Prasanna Venkatesh uh, onto the screen. Prasanna Venkatesh is uh, also. Uh, a mentor for many photography brands and uh, today this session is made possible by Nikita distributors who distributes uh, some of the most popular photography accessories and photography products uh, in India. They have, they have a fine bunch of people who have been extremely supportive for all our activities and activities in Pixel Village, including this one. And our guest today, Prasanna Venkatesh, is uh, a Godox mentor, and the Godox is distributed by Prasanna, I mean, sorry, by, <laughs> by Nikita Distributors. So I'd like to invite uh, Prasanna onto the screen. And of course, you know what today's uh, session is all about. About. It's going to be about celebrity photography. I am not going to be. I'm. I'm just going to go pose some questions to him, and uh, you know he's going to answer. Uh, he's. He'll share a few images. He will actually start talking about those images. Okay, which is what most of us really want, right? I mean, interesting pictures, fine. But uh, what we need to know is how he actually shot it, not only 
how he shot it, how, what went into planning, uh, the day of the shoot, his setup, and wherever that is possible, he will even share the BTS with you so that you know how to shoot, how to approach a celebrity photography, celebrity, celebrities uh, during photography. And, and he will also to tell you how to deal with them because they are slightly different uh, 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 compared to, let's say, our regular models. So without any delay, uh, let's welcome Prasanna on to the screen. Hi, Prasanna. Good evening. Hi, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How is Chennai doing? Chennai uh, is good, sir. Staying at home only. Uh, how are you, sir? How are everything fine over there? Uh, well, last uh, 30, 30, uh, today is now 29. So 15, 34 days, I have not stepped out of my main door. Uh, Homebound. Yeah, and trying to trying to trying to do as best as possible, staying indoors. Let's see. Like we can now see the you know the the numbers coming down. At least that is what has been told so to us. Chennai, Chennai is uh, coming down. And, uh, okay. And, uh, All right. I think to our viewers also please stay safe, uh, stay at home. Yeah. Get yeah. vaccinated soon. Sure. Sure. Perfect. All right. So, what do you have uh, for us? Uh, let me let me quickly check. Somebody is unhappy today. Uh, who is that? Who is unhappy? Atul Bounty Nerula is uh, sad, and Pratib Raj M is unhappy. Uh, angry, in fact. I don't know why he is unhappy. <laughs> Pratib Raj, please, if you would tell me why you are unhappy, that'll be wonderful. Why is angry? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I hope he will tell us. And uh, uh, Vignesh uh, Isaki, Isa, Isaki is saying the voice is not clear. Whose voice is not clear? Both the voices or what? So please let me know. Uh, that's one. And uh, yeah, there are lots of people who have come in. I need to quickly, before you start, uh, Prasanna. I'd like you to maybe you can take it off uh, from the from the but underneath the you know the button and and wear it the usual way maybe yeah maybe that will help uh, so what I'm going to quickly uh, check with you is uh, is who all are there Prakash Madhukar Shakti Savio Tanai Roshan Muno Gaming ah, oh this is much better now. Uh, Munur Gaming, SS Kote, Bharani Dharan, Prasanna Kumar. I am sure all your fans are here, Prasanna. Everybody yeah. from thank your you part of the me. world is here. Mahendran, happy to see you back after a few months. Uh, thank you very much. Prakriti Mudgil. Uh, hello, sir. Happy to see you. Prakriti. Hi, Prakriti. William. Hi, William. How are you? Hi, William. Uh, William, How are you? William, yeah, <laughs> William, William is here. William Chang. Yeah, John Mathai, Selva Sangi, Vijay David, uh, wonderful, the whole lot of people here. Sonu Soman, hi Sonu, how are you? Long hi, time, Sonu. you've been yeah. in hiding. Uh, Santosh Kumar, Mithur Prabhakar, Thompson, Prasanna sir, your voice is not audible. I'm sure it is now. Now? Uh, is it, uh, is it uh, Yeah, now? it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is audible. Mr. Prasanna's voice is not clear. Maybe you need to speak a little louder. He is feeling a little weak today. That's why maybe Hello? He's... Hello? Oh, yeah, that's much okay? better. Yeah. That's okay. much better. Wonderful. All right. So since we have... Uh, oh, oh, somebody somebody is very unhappy. Uh, Mithu Kerner is very unhappy. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, perfect. Okay, let's uh, start uh, our session. And uh, over to you, Prasanna. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, as you uh, know, today's session is uh, celebrity photography. Uh, in front of you, I'm not uh, as experienced as you, sir, uh, because I've seen your work and uh, I've admired your work. Uh, so all I would like to I share. Some some extra, all I have is some extra gray hair, nothing more. No, no, sir, no sir. I've seen your uh, work, uh, especially the work that you displayed outside the studio in Pune and how much uh, fans uh, those pictures attract. Everybody 
uh, when they see the john abraham's picture they just immediately come and just take selfies and everything like that so i've seen that so uh, i don't know if i'm the correct person to do it but anyways uh, i'll just try to share whatever little things that i know so Uh, so i think lots of these there are no i there are only broad rules and there are everybody has their own you know special ways of uh, dealing with uh, a, you know uh, dealing in every situation so what is interested what what we are interested today is how you deal with uh, celebrities and probably you can share some interesting images first and then go yes, into yeah. yes, perfect sir, yes, sir. So uh Wonderful. Shall, shall I start the slide show sir? Sure you can please hit uh, I have uh, a couple of uh, I have a small BTS video also in the slide so that I'll just uh, uh, quickly play to them also maybe in the later in the session so that I Wonderful I'm wonderful telling them so now some BTS images and everything so that they can also ask uh, whatever questions they want and uh, I can also try to explain whatever I know so what I'll <laughs> so sure. oh, wonderful pradeep rajas confirmed that it was an accident uh, you know he accidentally clicked on that emoji so okay, okay so that nothing nothing we need to worry about so people are not really unhappy <laughs> okay. so i have uh, okay. started uh, sharing the screen sir so you are you are on uh, you are now uh, full screen uh, you are sharing yes, with the world so you can continue yes, with sir. your presentation please So I have been uh, shooting with celebrities like for the past uh, 21 years. Uh, so started my career in uh, like 2000, and I got my first opportunity around uh, the end of 2000, and I've been shooting. And uh, I just uh, quickly run through uh, some pictures. Uh, these are like uh, wow. these pictures are right, really viral actually because of the. Yeah, I've, I've I I I I can see the reason also. <laughs> <laughs> This is a recent shoot, sir. The last one, uh, which we did with an upcoming actress, uh, her name is Minakshi. Uh, these are short for uh, what kind of uh, uh, purpose? Are these short for uh, celebrities for mag- or magazine, for commercials? Magazine, magazine, editorial, uh, editorial. So editorials. Then we also shoot for celebrity profiles, sir. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's Revati. Yeah, yes, ah. sir. And uh, Radhika Ramya Krishna. This was a recent Radhika shoot. Radhika Ramya Krishna. Yeah. Some of our uh, some of our regulars in Pixel Village is back. Joel Mark and uh, Ish, uh, you know, Tejas and lots of people are are back. There are we also have viewer viewer from uh, Chhattisgarh. I just saw somebody oh, who's from. Oh, thank you, thank uh, you so much. Lots of lots of very 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 uh, nice very, to nice very, to meet you all. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, Jharkhand. Yeah, Ranchi, Jharkhand. Memorize production. Ashish Arpan from Memorize production in Ranchi. Here he here he goes. So we have you know lots of people. Wonderful. All right, please go get carry on. Yeah, so these are all short for movies. Sir. I've uh, done. I've worked for like uh, eight to nine movies. Uh, these are all uh, movie posters that I've shot. This is uh, uh, these are all movie posters that we have shot with all uh, uh, celeb actors. So you, you go to the you go to the, uh, the to the set and uh, uh, shoot those images, is it? No, sir. We uh, we have a separate photo shoot for that. We uh, plan a separate photo shoot. I'll be sharing some BTS also of the same, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Just quickly change my. Uh, I'll I'll share a BTS also how uh, how it's done. and uh, how we shoot that uh, this is a separate photo shoot that we do uh, like uh, just for the first look of the movie we, like when they launch a pro- project they we just uh, have a, something called a first look so we just say shooting yeah. in progress or shooting sa- starts yeah. or something like that for Started that we have then. this uh, start we have this the promo of the yeah. movie and i've sure. also shot with uh, with um, I've also been fortunate working with a lot of uh, political personalities, like uh, the uh, president of India. Uh, I was official photographer for Hillary Clinton when when she came to uh, Chennai Kalachetra, and uh, vice president of India, governor of uh, Tamil Nadu, chief minister of Tamil Nadu. All these political personalities also I've worked. I've worked. I've done a lot of work. Uh, so this is also one part of uh, my career. I've also shot with the. Lot of political personalities. These are uh, really uh, uh, prestigious assignments for uh, uh, for a photographer like me. And uh, 
so i have shot with uh, like raja sir uh, rajini sir uh, some pictures i can't share because uh, uh, some uh, movies have not yet released ah okay so uh, i just want to explain uh, because most of the people uh, want to know how a celebrity shoot or how a professional shoot happens uh, it's like three three uh, i've just uh, given in a simple three steps uh, first we do a, a something called post uh, pre production then we go for the photo shoot then 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 the, uh, the last one is the post production so how important is pre production in a celebrity shoot in model shoots uh, uh, celebrity shoots are li- li- really complicated because uh, uh, because of their popularity and uh, there's a lot of uh, pressure also so for mm. a celebrity shoot we have to do a lot of uh, pre production work where we have to prepare uh, each and every small small details uh, that goes into the shoot so that helps you to get the correct output like uh, if we are shooting with a celebrity if you are planning a photo shoot first thing is uh, we have to take care of is the privacy uh, privacy part then um, uh, the location is it safe for them and we have to do a recce of the location uh, recce means uh, it's a location visit that we do so we have to do a recce of the location see how it is and uh, what are the things that has to be organized we have a separate production team we have a separate uh, uh, team that ca- uh, takes care of the logistics and all these things so uh, they come under the production team so all these things we do in a the pre production of the shoot uh, in the pre production uh, getting the correct team is the uh, first uh, uh, most important thing the uh, correct team the team also has to understand what is required and they also have to be uh, what how you say uh, responsible towards the shoot uh, so it's like uh, we have to fix the correct team the correct team of uh, fashion designer uh fashion stylist uh, normally people confuse fashion designer with fashion style but both are different actually so fashion designer and fashion stylist then we need a good makeup artist we have a, a hair stylist we need a good costume uh, costume uh, we need a good production team and all these things so getting the team uh, in place is the first first uh, uh, biggest uh, uh decision that we have to make if we don't get the correct team in place then uh, the sh- it will become a very difficult thing to manage mm, okay am i audible sir yes very much absolutely okay. you are able to see the pictures right yeah yeah we are okay so uh, getting the correct team in place and then what we do is we do something called a mood board we work on a mood board we uh, create the the designer on uh, the uh, stylist they sit together and they, they we all create a mood board what is the color palette that we are going to work and what are the accessories and what is the kind of costume and what's the jewelry and what's the background all, all this we uh, do in the pre, pre production work sir and uh, like if it's an outdoor shoot we have to make sure the we are we not uh, uh, the celebrity feels very comfortable shooting their uh, safety is a big priority Uh, privacy is a big priority and all these things we uh, plan in the pre production stage itself and we work mm. on the mood board we work on the mood board and whatever like you saw that uh, yashikan's picture and this love we we have worked in a very pastel tones a uh, very uh, very mild mild color tones and all these things this we do uh, uh, before the shoot so all this okay. like we uh, even uh, for a workshop of mine even if i am doing a workshop we work for a minimum uh, 15 to 20 days just preparing all these things so that the shoot wow. goes without any any hitch there's no hitch in the shoot like what's the food that's going to be served and uh, what are the food preferences of the celebrity everything we uh, take into consideration sir even small small uh, things that we tend to ignore we take everything into consideration what are the food preferences and uh, how uh, what do they like and all these things so the, the idea is to make them very comfortable and make the shoot very comfortable for them so that uh, once we do that then uh, the shoot goes without a hitch okay so a lot of lot of people make a mistake like uh, like uh, they plan a shoot and uh, then they don't consider small small things like uh, if i'm shooting in a studio uh, with a big celebrity what if there's a power cut suddenly so i have to think of all this backup power and everything sir because of that time is very valuable yeah i mean <laughs> that's that's the last thing that you want 
Oh, he last thing that I need is a power cut, actually. Uh, 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 celebrity sweating, uh, you know, I mean, that's yes, something. Yes, celebrity that's sweating too. and uh, like uh, there's no power uh, working in the darkness. And these are not small, small things, but uh, these are the things that we uh, actually work on, like uh, what, what, where it can go wrong, all this plan B and the plan C, plan uh, till plan Z we make uh, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so uh, that's how it uh, works. And just for a, a shot like this, this was shot for a jewelry and she's a very popular model. I'll just quickly play a, a small BTS video, how, how the shot was made. Sure. Uh, That's your that's your client, is it? Yes, a client. He's a creative director. Okay, and these are the products mm -hmm. which are uh, are they real diamonds, real jewelry? Yes, a real real diamond jewelry, sir. Wow. Oh, you use a lot of continuous slides too, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shoots? I use a lot of continuous slides. Okay. Okay. Nice. So these are the props that you are preparing. Yes, sir. Of props. Course. And then, you know, of course, you're going to mix it with flash, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. You must definitely talk about that, okay? Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Yeah. You can probably, you know, deconstruct uh, picture by picture and yes, uh, tell them how how you got each, you know, each lights in your, in your frame, whether they were continuous, how do you got that color? Ah, yeah, yeah. Of course, this is the finished shot, is it? Yes, sir. Okay. Wonderful. I think it's all. Uh, so, uh, so if you can see, if they can see, like, uh, it's not a one-man show. It's like uh, thirty to forty people working on a shoot. So everybody is important in a shoot in this shoot, and uh, everybody pay, uh, plays a part, big part in the shoot. Even if one of them uh, doesn't do the work properly, that entire thing will get, get collapsed. So yeah. uh, we make sure that that's why I'm um, uh, again uh, uh, telling people that they have to fix the correct team, team to shoot, find the correct team, correct the art director and everything. They have to uh, get the correct art director. So the idea behind the shoot was to like uh, uh, like this like this shot. Like sometimes uh, when you are shooting only with flash, you might not if give, uh, you might not get the exact uh, depth that you want like you want you want to uh, create if you want to create levels in the shot you can see mm. there's a mm. subject that's standing out from the background and everything so sometimes mm. we uh, i use a lot of continuous lights now with godox we have this led lights and this is becoming very easy because uh, correct, previously correct. continuous lights used to be like very hot like uh, the whole thing uh, will yeah. the entire thing will heat yeah. up now you have we have used yeah. uh, so you know yes, it's like course. really really yeah. really hot uh, yeah. it's very difficult and plus to, it's they are very difficult to uh, you know handle also you need a lot of people also to handle yes you need a lot of people sir you need a, for a, mm -hmm. one skimmer you need uh, two people actually lightmen yeah and uh, they consume a lot of power also then you have to Absolutely. put a separate uh, generator for them they, they are because this airy lights and all they come with their own ballast and everything then we have to have a separate uh, generator for them and uh, it's like a very uh, uh, power consumption, uh, a lot of power consumption also. But Correct. for this gold uh, gold product, I I felt that uh, combining continuous light with flash uh, will be ideal because that will give the kind of richness uh, uh, richness that uh, we have we need. Uh, okay. So these shots have uh, used uh, continuous light. You can see uh, uh, he's the creative director. So any uh, come a celebrity shoot, commercial shoot, we have like uh, 10 to 15 people standing uh, behind the camera, looking at the screen. <laughs> Once the picture starts coming, we have a celebrities, uh, celebrities team, then we have the client and we have the uh, advertising agency guys. And some of these agency guys are really experienced and they'll say yeah. the lighting is not good. Uh, you have to change, you have, I need this kind of a look and everything. So it has to be perfect. So yeah. that's why uh, we make a lot of, uh, 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 like pra we practice a lot during the pre-production work itself, so that uh, we make sure that uh, nothing uh, goes wrong. Understood. Un uh, so uh, understood. 
so here what what we are doing is we are just shooting for uh, so then we have the costumers and uh, costume assistants and everything everybody plays a, a big part in the shoot it's not like only the photographer so we can see uh, it's a diffused light source which which is a uh, uh, you have a junior senior and all uh, then mm. we just diffuse them uh, sorry sir i think mm. uh, gone somewhere no problem bring it back that's fine uh, one second one second sir yeah i think i pressed out pressed something else <laughs> so you you <laughs> that happens no worry but it's still there yeah you got it okay okay, okay. but uh, you, are you playing you that see? video yeah we can see it now so uh friends we will have a q and a session at the end uh you know uh, for you especially so save all your questions don't waste them now uh, uh, not them because you know if you post your questions now it keep scrolling up and it'll be difficult for us to pull it back onto the screen and share with uh, uh, you know with prasanna so hence hold on to the questions ask right at the end okay we will definitely have a q and a so so yeah please go ahead uh, prasanna uh, so uh, uh, you can see uh, we have used a lot of we use a lot of uh, black uh, black cutters when we use a lot of negative fill uh, uh, the, like uh, instead of using white thermocol we use a black uh, to give that shape to the light to the shape uh, of the light and give the more uh, give a little bit of contrast and a little bit of contrast to the light uh, so we use a lot of uh, black we use cutters we use uh, Uh, we use flags. We use black, uh, black, uh, you know, velvet cloth, and all these things to absorb the light. Yeah. yeah so there's yeah. no, there's no spill, and all these things uh, we have. Uh, they, they make just to create some patterns. Pattern on the screen in, in your yeah, field. Pattern. Yeah, I said patterns yeah. just to create some patterns. Yeah. It's little difficult to explain it now or the whole thing, uh, but I will try to. Uh, do yeah, it, uh, yeah, because it's in a uh, video, but yeah, of course you can. Uh, so uh, this is this is your earlier days when you were handling, uh, you were using those HMIs and uh, uh, tungsten lights uh, because yes, I can sir, see yes, a lot yes, of sir. them being used yes, here. Sir, yes, sir. So this yes, is sir. this is what the person now to the audience. This is what person I was talking about. You know, it's a little cumbersome to handle, whereas the new lights, it's very cumbersome. Uh, the yeah. LED lights are very easy to handle. They are lightweight. They are less power hungry. Uh, there are lots of light shaping tools. You don't need so much of cutting and diffusing and uh, you know all that. It it can be handled by a much smaller team and more efficient way. All right, perfect. Yeah. Uh, so to to create a slight depth, we use uh, smoke. We don't use a smoke machine uh, because what happens with the smoke machine is the smoke will go uh, immediately go down. Uh, it will go down because the smoke is very dense. So we go to the traditional way of using that uh, low burn. That's what we call sambrani in Tamil. Uh, we have this uh, uh -huh. uh, smoke. I know. Smoke yeah. uh, that will create a uh, that will that will stay for a long time. Correct. The smoke Correct. will stay for a long time, and uh, you you can see the light getting dispersed in that, and that that creates a very interesting effect. Yeah, yeah. So it's mostly uh, uh, you can see it's all adding depth to the pictures. Sir. That's all. Mm -hmm. You have uh, set assistants, you have art art directors, and uh, uh, all these people. Uh, Working. So this is another shoot I did with Sakshi, and this was a Spanish uh, themed shoot. It was a very uh, small studio, but uh, somehow we managed to shoot uh, uh, with uh, just uh, three lights. I'll just quickly go through the pictures so that if they can also ask questions. Uh, this uh, I've used a vinyl backdrop, sir. Vinyl. This is a vinyl flex. Uh, okay. uh, one thing that we have to do is uh, we have to print the vinyl in uh, reverse. It's, it should be uh, printed on the matte side, not on the glossy side, because mm. uh, getting canvas backdrops is very very expensive, like uh, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, and all. Uh, These backdrops we can easily get for some six hundred rupees or uh, seven hundred rupees. We get it printed. I think we have done similar uh, session in uh, Pixel Village also. Yes, we have we used have, vinyl, yeah. vinyl backdrops. We have a lot of people yeah. uh, outside this field. They don't know. Uh, about vinyl backdrops, but uh, we regularly use vinyl backdrops. Uh, I I will show you some other pictures also where we have used a vinyl backdrop. 
because we had a very limited budget uh, for one of our shoots i'll show you that also so this is another uh, shoot we did for uh, uh, priya gold that's a sunflower oil uh, so here i've used uh, five lights uh, to get that high key effect this is uh, what the client or the art, the creative director gives us as, as a brief they want a high, high key effect uh they want uh, lighting to be very soft and all these things so we can't break that sir so uh, as you know you have you have also done so many uh, uh, ads i've seen your mahindra work and also it's really amazing so we can't yeah, change you, the really. brief we can't like we have to stick to the brief no. and we have to give yeah. the result so that comes with yeah. uh, experience only yeah 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 what's the so name another, of the previous model uh kajal agarwal sir this she's a very oh, famous kajal agarwal Oh yes, of course. Yeah. This is just a. Uh, it's a very simple shot. Uh, uh, the main thing about the shot is we, how we have used color. Uh, we haven't used any other family of colors. We have just traveled in the same family of color. And uh, in the background, uh, there was nothing there. It was just a white wall. So what I have done is I have shot uh, the AD to AD to two hundred through a, a wooden wooden uh, partition. What is old type wooden partitions that we used to have in house. this foldable yes, things yes. Uh, so we just uh, uh, shoot uh, just a short uh, flash to that so uh, with a celebrity uh, shoot or any model shoot we have to learn how to uh, use uh, things effectively we instead of like telling them uh, i just have a white background what am i supposed to do and all these things so we can find out small small things just to see create some interest in the picture sure sure and uh, she is a singer and uh, we shot her portfolio and uh, this was uh, shot with high speed sync uh, the shutter speed is like 1 by 2000 and uh, aperture is f4 and here also same thing i've used a warm warm filter on the subject so that everything has that brown tone mm. Mm. okay i'll just uh, explain the shot so this was done for a silk saree client and the background that you see is all vinyl uh, it's all flex printed it's like it's all, we didn't have a big budget for the shoot so what we have done is we have hired uh, this uh, props this uh, uh, sculptures from a wedding decorator that was actually in gold okay. color uh, that okay. was actually in gold color what we have done is we have just spray painted everything in uh, uh, this stone color as uh, a stone color and uh, we have uh, uh, we have just placed them as it is and the background is like uh, just a vinyl uh, reverse printed vinyl actually and uh, what we have done is we have uh, added uh, some uh, lamp and everything to, to give the temple kind of a feel Understood. and the main thing about uh, the shot is we have kept the background dark because uh, then only then the subject uh, will look very highlighted yes yes here also i have used continuous light uh, you can see i used continuous light with flash mm. uh, as a set you can see it's all Uh, pillars that we have pay, placed here there everywhere sir uh, in the picture you will see that uh, it looks as if it's a temple but it's all pillars that we have placed here they are moving here there and everything it's a very small small set it's not even a set it's just an l uh, wow i mean what you see and what i see in the images like you know the transformation is amazing and you have managed to cre create those multiple layers with uh, very very clever uh, you, using the clever uh, you, using these props very cleverly ah uh, yes sir <laughs> thank you and so that much that shaft sir. of that shaft of light from the right corner which is yes, kind sir. of you know as if like a morning ray of a sun uh, ray hey, morning of ray of coming. sun yes sir yeah, yeah, yeah and and also surprisingly you know the nandi uh, in the background was also getting a nice you know highlight 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 uh, that's an 80, you, 80 you, 200 sir actually that's an 80 200 uh, with a warm gel uh, uh, i have shot that thing uh, through a gobo that's a black chart with some uh, cut out patterns which we had uh, which is just shot shot through that and it's a uh, that's uh, sambrani smoke that uh, loban smoke <laughs> yeah so that smoke has actually created that uh, interesting uh, you know yes, uh, a temple like feel it also feels like it is you know it, it's it's very old temple old, yes, uh, yes yeah yeah so all that i can i mean if you have been to a temple of course you can even get the smell of the temple <laughs> you know yeah very good and Perfect. the art director has also added a little bit of oil here there some uh, red color that uh, uh, vermilion powder on the floor, acid, on on the the floor, floor. yeah some oh, yeah. Uh, spilled oil just like an old temple 
Okay, wonderful. So here also I've used continuous light uh, for the top to create that ambience. Then we have used flash to fill. Okay, okay, wonderful, great. Uh, again, another shot, uh, same setup. Uh, here you can see that uh, there's a shadow uh, pattern falling on the uh, Tanjavur uh, Big Temple uh, picture in the background. Mm. Oh, that's Actually, a, that's a vinyl. That's a vinyl in the back, is it? Yeah, that's a vinyl. That's a, everything is a vinyl, sir. Uh, the shadow, you can see the, actually, uh, uh, you can see the light is coming from the uh, left side of the frame. Uh, it's highlighting uh -huh. the sculptures and everything. But yeah. and actually, what we have done is we have, uh, we have created the shadow from the right side of the frame. OK. Because okay. there was no space. So what we have done is this, uh, this uh, shadow on the temple is ca coming from the right side of the frame. But in the picture, oh, okay. it will look as if it's coming from just one direction. Ah, understood. Understood. This is the that, entire that, set. That, that pattern that you can see on the on, on this particular image is the one which you use to create that 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 the play of light on the right side of your yes, sir, image. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. You just a go go in front of a like a, a hard source. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So the, uh, this is how we manage to uh, get uh, shots, sir. We can't like uh, sometimes. This is how you play. manage to fool people. <laughs> uh, not. <fool. laughs> this is how we manage to work within a budget and uh, create know. interesting work. Uh, so Absolutely. it's because it has to. Uh, we we can't have one more light coming from one another uh, side. So we have kept everything from the coming from the right side. Uh, sorry, left side of the frame. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, I mean, otherwise, you know, get, getting permission to shoot in a, you know, a period, very old uh, temple is like near, next to impossible. Yes, sir. Taking yes, sir, all yes, this sir. crew there and traveling to a location. Traveling to like, a, yes, sir. And the lighting yeah. up and everything will become very, very uh, difficult, yeah. actually. It's yeah. like very... Uh, uh, and and uh, in a place like Chennai, in a place like Chennai, where uh, lots of period uh, television serials and dramas are being made, Getting these props also will be very easy, correct? Yes, and, very easy. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Very yeah, easy. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. The whole thing, uh, the whole set, costed us around some, say, some uh, thirty to thirty-five thousand max. That's all, sir. Including all. the painting like, and everything. It's all fiber. You could, you could easily one person uh, can easily lift the entire thing and move it, uh, move it across. Yeah, that, that, that's what the Bahubali lifted and was was uh, yes. hitting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'll show them one more picture. So this was also shot for a movie. Actually, we were supposed to do it in outdoor, uh, but due to some uh, unforeseen things, uh, we couldn't shoot outdoor. So what we have done is we have created the entire thing in the uh, studio itself. So uh -huh. we, uh, you can see there's a eight by eight grid on the top with the blue gel uh, that is to create the ambience. Then we have a, a skimmer on the right uh, through which I have shot through. Uh, to create the fill light and there's another off the box on the one side to create a little bit of detail in the in the hands. Yeah, understood. So this is like matching the uh, foreground, uh, foreground to the subject. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, same thing. We have used a vinyl, uh, vinyl in the backdrop and we have used some uh, dry leaves and some rocks and everything in the foreground. And you can see the light uh, is also coming from the same direction as in the, in the background, the light is coming from the left. So in the foreground also what I've done is I've just kept the light in the same direction. So mm, yes. again, uh, we have a 8 by 8 grid on top to create some, uh, we need some detail on the top of the car. Mm. So what we have done yeah. is we have put an 8 by 8 grid and we have shot through, uh, shot through that. This is another interesting shot where you can see it's like an, like an actual location, but it's again wow. it's a denial. <laughs> this 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 can really fool you. I mean, this feels like you you shot on location. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. trick is to uh, bring the uh, four some elements in the background to the foreground, sir. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You have to create the same kind of lighting, like little, very soft, very diffused. What's uh, the name of this movie? Uh, oh, Amar Amarakaviyam, sir. Amarakaviyam. Okay. okay. Sure.
So these are all uh, profile shoots for Sakshi Agarwal, which we did recently. I, I saw these images. This uh, this had a lot of lot of uh, uh, likes. Uh, I could yes, see. Sir, yes, and sir. I could so see. The pictures also went viral. Yeah, 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 went viral. Yes, I saw these images. The, this, of course, is shot on location, right? Yeah, this is a uh, shot on location, sir. What I've done is here. Uh, you can see it, the the concept was a little uh, twilight uh, kind of a thing. So what we have done is we have shot with a incandescent white balance, so a tungsten white balance, with the color okay. correction filter on the uh, sort box. That's a Godox okay. lantern, which uh, I'm using the lantern a lot these days because I really love oh, the yeah. lantern. Beautiful because light. Beautiful yeah. uh, light. Uh, so it's actually yeah. shot at around four o'clock in the evening. So it's like okay. bright light, but you, uh, you can see that it become it has become a slightly bluish tone because of the y shift in the white balance. So, so just now this one is a little tricky. So, can you explain it in little more detail? Because you you have you have folded the camera with the wrong white balance setting, and yes, also sir. used a, a gel on the light to balance yes, the sir. skin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. getting the blue on the back so can you just explain because i'm sure some of our viewers must be going a little uh, crazy if trying to figure out how you got that blue in the back and the skin the same skin in natural light so can you just explain it in detail uh, actually, step by step and how you yes sir this is a very old technique actually which uh, which uh, with, uh, which has been used in mo movies a lot like in old movies if you see uh, yeah. this is a very very old technique it's not a very uh, it's not a new technique at all uh, we uh, sometimes uh, in old movies you see they they used to uh, shoot these night sequences like where the hero is chasing uh, in a horse or something like that uh, through a mountain. But in olden days they didn't have uh, high speed film or uh, they didn't have digital. So now digital we have we can shoot in very high ISO and uh, very low light. But in olden days what they used to do is they used to shoot in bright daylight with a blue filter on. Uh, with the blue filter in front of the lens. So that will give the night kind of an effect. Uh, mm. But the thing is, overall thing will become uh, blue. So what we do is, uh, uh, we just change the white balance to incandescent. And in the flash... The, uh, the white balance the camera setting will change to incandescent. Yeah, the white, uh, white balance is around 2500 Kelvin or 3000 Kelvin, something like that. So it's become totally mm. blue. The, the, the global thing will become totally blue. So, okay. but if we shoot like that, uh, the model also will become blue because the model skin okay. also will become blue. But how do we get that contrast? Uh, we use a color correction filter, like a warm tone gel. Like we have a Lee 85, uh, 85 quarter stop, half stop uh, gels like that, like a warm tone, like it will be an amber in color. So we use the uh, uh, filter for the flash, which is illuminating the subject. Uh, not the background. So there, mm. it, that, that uh, filter will cancel the blue. Mm. I hope and I'm... Then, <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, of course. I mean, it's very clear. So uh, for the benefit of the viewers, maybe maybe I'll just step in and explain it a little more. Yes, sir. Uh, here, what you what Prasanasar has tried to do is to fold the camera to get the certain effect. Now, you don't have, you can't really wait for that twilight because twilight comes and goes in no time. So, five minutes. To, 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 yeah. So, and you can't get the entire shot done in that brief uh, time span. So, what they usually do, and they've been doing it for a long time. That's why he said it's an old technique. But since we all are, you know, new uh, ph uh, photographers, new into, uh, you know, trying to learn uh, photography. Uh, uh, those some of these things we will think we, we we feel that these are you know new techniques, but they are they've been you they've been using it for a very long time. So what they do is, you will set the camera to incandescent. So you go to your white balance setting and switch it from your daylight or auto white balance to incandescent. Incandescent meaning it will understand yellow light as white light. Okay, very simply put. So that will be close to, let's say, 4,250 or 3,800 kind of K uh, color temperature. All right, but switch to incandescent. All right, then if you use that setting and take a shot in daylight, you will see that your entire image is gone, turned blue. Okay, now. That's what the setting is. Now, he framed her, uh, the model, 
in front of the camera and it's bright it's daylight uh, so and if you take a shot now everything in any incandescent as white balance setting you will see that the entire frame has turned blue now the, for to further fold the camera what presenter has done is to use instead of using flash as a white light source he added a yellow light yellow filter in front of the flash okay which is equivalent to the incandescent lighting so the flash fired a yellow light compensating the blue and bringing the skin tone back to original all right i am done thank you So, uh, Prasenna, sir, me, over to can you. I, uh, can, you, can I show one more image, sir, so that they can understand? Absolutely. No, no, no. There's enough time. Uh, I'll just stop uh, sharing the screen. I'll just uh, yeah. uh, quickly pick one more image so that they'll understand it little easily. Uh, Please do. Uh, because you've done many uh, the, this technique many times. Yes, sir. Because uh, uh, commercial yeah. work we have to uh, do, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me just see. Wonderful. So, people, hope you are enjoying uh, the session with uh, President uh, Sir. As you can see, it boring, actually. Uh, no, so. no, no. I look at. I mean, we have two hundred and thirty-seven people at this point listening to uh, you. Oh, hope it's good. good okay, good. so that's that's like a fantastic crowd, and thank you very much for uh, you know joining us uh, this evening. And I hope I hope you are uh, be you are you are enjoying the session and you are learning something from uh, Prasanna. Uh, oh, Parvati says uh, Parvati Verma is saying that it's a very interesting session. Thank you and. Uh, Ishan the other was saying that he's loving it. Um, uh, Santosh just assured, I mean, just guarantee, is guaranteeing you that uh, this is not uh, uh, not boring at all. Uh, Suman and uh, Krishar, Krishar C and Yash Baskar, Yash Bedkar are all saying that this is a very interesting session. Deva Prasad uh, Bhav. I'm, I'm not able to share the screen, sir. One second. Ah. Uh, Share the screen and share uh, your desktop, and you will be able to probably pull it out from the uh, from your desktop itself. Oh, we have uh, viewers from Nepal. While uh, President Sir is looking for that interesting image, it'll be wonderful if if the viewers can tell us where you all, uh, where e each one is from, so I get an idea as to you know from which all places people have joined us in in, in this session. Um, um, yeah, so it'll be it'll be uh, nice if you can you know use your uh, comment boxes and uh, uh, put in that information as to where you are from. Parvati is from Kerala. Namaskaram, Parvati. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, because uh, then you have uh, Ashish from Jodhpur, uh, Prasanna from Bangalore. Our Prasanna is one of our uh, regular guy. We have Nagraj from Goa. Uh, we have uh, uh, Hema. I'm able to share the things sir. Only thing. one, one second, sir. Uh, uh, you uh, have uh, even in not even the earlier presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two minutes, sir. Uh, this time, sir. Sure. So uh, then we have uh, Omkar from Kolapur, uh, Coimbatore. Uh, we have. Uh, Oh, there is a request from uh, Gufran saying, please add English subtitles to your uh, Tamil videos. Uh, <laughs> you have <laughs> viewers from Andhra Pradesh, uh, from uh, Mumbai, Pondicherry. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. We have Selva Kumar from Bangalore, from Ali Studios in Hyderabad. Um, Ishan the other. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's in Ibiza in, in Spain. I hope you are there. Uh, doing well, enjoying the beaches of Ibiza. Uh, wonderful. Uh, you have lots of lots of uh, people. Uh, Venga, Venga boys, a song. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know, it's short in Ibiza. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you have uh, people from Gauhati, uh, from Chennai, of course, a lot of local followers there. Uh, Joel is from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, wonderful. Great. So, uh, you, uh, are you? Some, are you? 
No, uh, no, sir. Some technical issue. I think uh, just, uh, just trying to figure what's out. A, what? What are you? What? What's the problem that you're facing? Yeah, no, it's, it's not uh, showing. It's not showing the window, sir. Actually, which window? Uh, I'm clicking share screen, uh, but uh, the thing is not coming here. Uh, like uh, when I uh, no, no. Is is your application running? Yes, sir. It's running. It's running. Keynote is running. I see. Okay, that is uh, unusual. Uh, so you inst instead of application, you need to go to um, um, you need to what you have to do is basically to look at the window. Yeah, Click I'm looking the at the window only. Window only. Yeah. So in window, you should definitely see the uh, application there. One second, uh, sir. I'll just uh, try again. Uh, uh, Niveda is saying that we need to have more sessions like this. Uh, uh, Arun Shashi is suggesting copy that image in the existing PPT, uh, which yeah, is what, what Arun, that's what uh, he's trying to do, but he's unable yeah, to uh, even share the PPT. So there is, uh, there is a little bit I of a hold up. I'm uh, sorry I, about uh, that. Shall I WhatsApp the image to you, sir, right now? Uh, no, um, because it's it's too much. Uh, it'll be too much. It kind of cumbersome for me to. Just two minutes. Do. Two minutes. Sir, that's all. Uh, so what you can do is you can exit, restart, and come back. Maybe that will solve it. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll just WhatsApp you the image also so that. Uh... <sighs> Maybe you can exit and rejoin. Yes, that's that's what we are trying to do. So. Uh, Prasanna, you please exit, restart your machine, and join back. And by okay, that, sir. I mean I will. I will stay here. I'm sure all the viewers are going to stay. We're going to chit chat uh, while you reset, restart your camera, and come back. Reset yes, your sir. computer and uh, come back. No, so no, please no, do that. Two, Don't worry. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes, sir. I'll just uh, send you the picture. Just see how it. There's just one picture that I want to share with them. That's all. Ah, uh, uh, all right. Okay. I WhatsApp you, sir. Uh, Please check. You have sent a WhatsApp image. Ah, okay. So let me see if I can uh, share this images uh, image uh, with you people. Uh, let me quickly uh, pull it out from my uh, WhatsApp uh, uh, WhatsApp message. Uh, WhatsApp. Um, it's a little. I mean, it, the session was going very well. I really like the way he was, you know, explaining. Um, uh, but of course, you know, far too many people are on internet <laughs> these days. Uh, so maybe internet is like kind of, you know, having too much of all of us. Uh, I am, I'm now trying to download this image. Uh, and uh, Prasanna, you're back. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. able to share now. Just try uh, sharing, yeah, please. Yeah, I'm just checking, sir. I think maybe some bug in the uh, streaming software. Ah, uh, uh, don't worry. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is to going to quickly share that image with uh, uh, with the people. Okay, so this is the image. Can you see? Yes, sir. And people can, can can people see that image? Prasanna, can you see me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can see you, sir. Yeah. So you can go ahead and explain, please. Ah, okay, sir. So this was shot for uh, Mahindra holidays uh, for uh, for their uh, uh, this uh, concept of this shot was uh, night fishing. So where they go okay. in the night and uh, catch uh, fish, uh, and this was shot in Bembanad Lake, sir, in Kerala. Uh, it's a beautiful wow. location. It's like a very, yes, yes. Uh, very deep lake, and uh, uh, so the concept was uh, night fishing, where they use that uh, light from the boat. There's a small light that's kept in the boat, and the fish will get attracted to the boat, and they put the net, and uh, they'll catch the fish. I think that's yes. the concept. Like, and uh, the, the idea was to show a tourist who is enjoying that night fishing. So that's like a guest who is enjoying the night fishing. But only problem is uh, uh, the lake is very deep. 
and uh, in the night uh, we uh, we won't be able to shoot because it uh, that requires a very uh, uh, slow shutter speed and uh, you'll get a blurred image and the boat is constantly rock uh, moving so what we have done here is we have kept the light in one boat i am in one boat and the model is on one boat and we shot the image around like 4 4:30 in the evening with an incandescent white balance again so the light has a color correction filter so when the flash fires then the entire uh, that blue color in that uh, model will get cancelled and uh, that will become neutral and then uh, the entire thing will be blue and only the uh, models uh, model will be model and the uh, uh, the person throwing the net will be uh, uh, in the correct color with the, uh, the the net that's getting frozen i think uh, that's the concept behind uh, this i have used the same uh, incand incandescent white balance for this shot also so they have just two lights uh, there's one one is a, a nice powerful light that's coming from the another boat and second is a very small light that is uh, lighting up the model models back slight slightly mm -hmm. otherwise what was happening is the entire shadow of the lamp was falling on the model so we need to cancel that so what we have done is we have just kept the small light just to cancel that shadow Understood. so uh, these these are things that we have to do in commercial photography sir because uh, we can't tell client that uh, no not possible to shoot uh, uh, because after flying there flight tickets uh, staying everything then we go, go and tell them uh, it's shaking too much and uh, we can't get it's a very slow shutter speed and i can't get yeah. the shot we can't do that so somehow we have to figure out uh, how to do it and we can uh, do this So uh, even if uh, even if uh, in wedding photography they can do when then they have a very flat sky nothing there interesting in the background then they can use this kind of incandescent white balance and you create a slightly night uh, kind of a look with a uh, flash uh, with that has a color correction filter and that will give a very interesting result. Wonderful, great, great. Of course. So I'm going to stop sharing this image and you are now back. Uh, uh, so, do you have any more images to share, or we can start that, taking that's, questions that, now? That's also, that's also wonderful. We also have a, a, a guest from Pakistan today. Um, oh, Adnan uh, is from Pakistan. Wonderful, welcome, Adnan. Thank you very much for joining in. Um, uh, great. Um, so, uh, I think it's time uh, we can start taking the questions, uh, of course. And uh, yeah, so please start sharing your, uh, uh, you know, interesting questions uh, so that uh, Prasanna can start answering them. I'll see if I can pull out some questions that happened in the post. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, some questions that happened uh, sometime earlier. Uh, if I can pull that out, it'll be, it'll be, it, you know, in the meantime, you know, it, they're all kind of gone up. All right. Uh, so we, the first question. So shall we start taking questions now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. All right. Okay. I hope there you go. The first session for them. Uh, so, so please uh, tell, let, we will ask that question right at the end. You know, once you start answering the questions also. Okay. Just to hold on. Uh, let's, let's go slowly. Okay, before you start posting your questions, let, let's go one by one. Prakash uh, uh, Madhukar is asking, So how can I improve retouching? I do practice every day, but I am not getting the wow factor. How can I visualize retouching and final image before editing? Okay, that's an interesting question, sir. So can I answer it, sir? Yeah, yeah, it's it's for you. The questions okay. are for I'm not. I, mean, so, I don't know about this. So uh, see, uh, we uh, talked about uh, pre-production, then we talked about the photo shoot, then we have this post-production. Post-production is very important in any commercial photography. Uh, we need to give a finished product. So why is the retouching not working? So what I do is uh, only I use only um, uh, ninety-five percent of the shot is already done on camera itself. Only I just use retouching to enhance the picture so uh, what happens is uh, a lot of people they shoot pictures and uh, they try to improve that uh, to uh, in retouching but, but the original image has to be good then only you can uh, add that have that wow factor so what i'm telling you is visualize the uh, result and try to get a uh, great image and uh, make it even better in retouching i think that will be uh, the best thing to do 
there are a lot of uh, tutorials now uh, the dodge burn there are a lot of tutorials are uh, on dodge micro dodge burn and everything but only thing is try to get the image as good as possible so that like 90% if you get then uh, 10% if you enhance the image will look really great so what's your opinion on this sir yeah uh, so uh, we in fact was discussing something very similar yesterday uh, there is technology for you to take and make use of uh, becoming over dependent on technology is also probably not exactly right um, so uh, what one should do is bring in some discipline into the way you're working visualize the final image in your head even before starting to cook it is like you know uh, starting to shoot it is like you know you walk into the kitchen and then start thinking about uh, what to cook instead when you walk into the kitchen you should have an idea of what you want to cook and then you pick only those ingredients not you know scramble in the kitchen uh, you know figuring yeah, yeah yeah so you so you're not going to be ex really successful i'm i'm not saying not always but it's a good practice. It's a discipline that you must cultivate right at the beginning itself. As young photographers, you must definitely start visualizing your fi final image in your head. Try and get as much as possible. Try and achieve as much as possible in your camera itself and then take it to your softwares. Now, uh, retouching, you know, I mean, I'm also, let me also warn you that retouching is an, is, a, is an area which is going to be taken over almost completely, almost completely by AI. Okay, yes. so skin retouching is going to be uh, a child's play very soon. Uh, this is what I think is going to happen. Uh, grading, you're going to have, you already have presets, right? Uh, so preset is one, but a artificial intelligence based retouching or image enhancement yeah, and all. Al and all. yeah already available they are only going to improve on i mean on a daily basis so what you should do is to visualize first and then try and you know you must try and achieve as much as possible in the image then in the camera itself and then uh you know uh, uh you know finish it in 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 using the software now that is a great practice uh, uh to to practice sorry that's discipline that you must cultivate uh so since we both uh come from you know the <laughs> film era, yes, film era we, we had all this you know uh, uh, uh conveniences hence we try to achieve a lot retouching was very expensive you know, you had to go to a high-end, uh, you know, uh, a post-production house. Very expensive even, process. Even the scanning was like, uh, like a drum scan was like uh, two thousand, three thousand rupees per per image. Sir, scanning. Abs absolutely. So, uh, there is nothing better than practicing. Bring some discipline in, and you will be able to achieve it, Madhukar. Uh, so, just the fact that you know that you are not reaching itself is a learning. You know, so you are in fact achieving something. So that's that's something which you must uh, definitely. I mean, I'll definitely guarantee you that guaranteeing you that you are learning. Otherwise, you will not you will not be dissatisfied. You know, so so yeah. I mean, that's what I think uh, 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 I have to say. And of course, uh, Prasanna already uh, has uh, explained his uh, work. Ashish uh, Vengurlekar is asking, Hi, Ashish, how are you? Ashish uh, is uh, one of, uh, another regular at Pixel Village. Oh, hi, how Ashish. much is post-processing is important for your final reset, result? I think uh, you answered that question already. It's really important, uh, uh, but it doesn't mean that... Uh, but uh, but uh, your, your result has to be like at least 90%. You have to get the result on camera. Because when you're shooting with a celebrity and uh, they want to see the pictures, the client wants to see the pictures, uh, we can't tell them that, uh, sir, I'll take it home, I'll uh, fix it in Photoshop and bring it. So we have to give the result on on the spot itself. Let me just give you an idea. So how much pressure we'll be in. Like We, we see this as a just as a photo shoot. Okay, we're just shooting with a celebrity uh, for, say, a Diwali campaign or for a, like a, uh, like a, any other festival campaign or any other special campaigns. 
okay just we just see this as a single photo shoot that but look at the entire picture so uh, there's a entire ad campaign that is dependent on these pictures first thing so that is like that itself is like some crores of rupees there's a lot of uh, space uh, that is booked in a newspaper there's a lot of space that is books uh, booked in a book for holdings and there's a lot of material that is uh, ready for printing they're just waiting for the pictures to come and uh, when you are shooting a new collection all this collection and everything is ready uh, ready for uh, ready for uh, uh, for for sale so all this is dependent on the picture so just i imagine the kind of pressure that we are in we have to uh, give the result on the spot itself so post processing will definitely enhance it and post processing we can uh, tell them yeah we'll uh, there'll, there'll be some uh, uh, mistakes in the jewelry something in the jewelry that needs to be retouched and some uh, stray uh, uh, uh the thread that is uh, uh, like uh, jetting out and some color correction has to be done some skin retouching has to be done that's all okay but 90% we have to uh, give the result on the spot that's the uh, biggest uh, challenge in uh, celebrity photography or fashion or when you are shooting for a big brand so retouching is uh, post processing is important but 90% try to achieve the result on the field itself sure so you got the answer quickly moving on to the next one uh, william chang has a question uh, what was the name of the color correcting gel you used for the boat shoot hi william uh, i hope uh, you remember me uh, i think we met in uh, light and life <laughs> amog uh, amog was there amog takor uh, so uh, i have used an 85 uh, normally what i do is i pick up the gel uh, depending on the mood that i want to create like uh, i use a uh, y1 uh, lee y1 for uh, like a 7 o'clock uh, kind of a look and if i want a slightly warmer tone like let's say or some uh, 5:45 6:30 kind of a look i go for a lee uh, 85 85 uh, half stop or quarter stop then i also use a straw straw a straw filter lee lee has a straw filter that's also very good so i use these filters a lot this warming gels wonderful these lights are these gels are used on the lens on the on the light on the light sir on the light uh, these are all color correction gels and they uh, the, the, uh, they are very sturdy all right they are very wonderful. expensive also well, just a foot uh, how, uh, one foot of lens, uh, the lens, uh, filter will cost around uh, 300 rupees or something like that mm mm-hmm. okay wonderful and uh, suchain suchain barwa from bangladesh is here uh, we have okay deva pras, pras deva deva prasad paul do you shoot auto iso and manual mode in outdoor i don't use auto iso but i shoot in manual mode outdoor all right. okay so uh, so there is no auto iso he prefers to shoot in manual mode manual mode uh, yeah rakesh uh, nishant um uh this is so quick to make a live from 5 pm till 10 pm sir can i use uh, uh radha sir has left oops i don't know i am still here my friend um better better looking to buy a flash okay so here is a question from sridhara hegde i am looking to buy a flashlight which godox flashlight is good if uh, you are looking to buy a speed light then i would suggest v860 mark 2 or if you want to buy a slightly uh, bigger light for outdoor shoot then go for ad200 that's the best AD two hundred and AD two hundred Pro. Uh, oh. I mean, I think it is. It's the. It's very robust, very cost effective, extremely very costly, useful. Very, uh, yeah, it's a very versatile light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, if you want to mount okay. it on a camera, I think uh, you go for a V eight sixty Mark two or a Godox as a V one, which is a round flash it. That's also really good. But you may, but make sure that you get a trigger also because. uh you can create interesting light only if you take the flash from your camera just take the flash out of your camera then you start uh, getting a lot of inter- you can do start doing a lot of interesting things so uh, get a trigger uh, also uh what do you say sir yeah so putting absolutely the flash on the camera and clicking like well, no not um, uh, much fun uh well so yeah i mean it it depends on what you want to 
get out of that shot. So some some people, I mean, some real high fashion shots I've seen uh, being shot with, you know, on camera flash. On, uh, on camera flash, and, you know, over over exposing a little bit and all that. There is a name for that kind of photography. I'm, I know I'm forgetting it. Anyway, so that's a style, uh, but but you're not going to be using that all the time. Uh, so off camera flashes are good. So you need to know exactly uh, what's the type of uh, work that you're planning to do. Then you must buy your gear to suit that. Um, shoot. Uh, what else? What else? Can we achieve same result using RGB lights? Okay. So this is J. Uh, Ditigi is asking from Dubai. Uh, can we achieve the camera results using RGB LED lights instead of gels and filters? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can achieve the same thing. But only problem with RGB LED lights is the output won't be as uh, powerful. Uh, as powerful as a flash. So only uh, yeah. thing like if I'm using a studio light, like say if I say 400 watts uh, light, yeah. then uh, you see the kind of output that you can place the light a little far away and then shoot. But if you are shooting with an RGB LED light, then you have to place the light really close to the subject and shoot. Uh, so that's one uh, for video, it's yeah. really good. But for photo, yeah. you have to keep it like really close. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, I am using a couple of RGB lights here. Yes, sir. I can, see, I can this. see. Next time, next I, time I also <laughs> want to do things. <laughs> I am using a remote. So, this remote will actually allow me to change my setting, uh, you know, to whatever that I want. Uh, so, I can actually pick, like you said, the Lee 85. I can pick the, pick the Lee 85 and get that color. But the problem is, it's a small light. I, let me see if I can bring it close. It's a small light. And this is the power, maximum power that I can get. So these wide shots, you know, the kind of shots that Prasanna is doing, those wide shots require more power, which these guys will not be able to deliver, which means you need a powerful flash and then a gel in front. Um, okay, why as multimedia is asking, best continuous and powerful light for outdoors? Can you suggest one? Uh, continuous light, uh, you can go for Godox SL series, it's very good actually. But outdoor, now, uh, only thing is... Now uh, you have the VL series, which is the newer one. Yeah, VL yeah. series is good. Then you have the, yeah. uh, the, uh, uh, the silent ones also, they're all good. Yeah, yeah. One second, where are the questions? There are so many questions that have come up. Uh, okay, okay. So... There are tons of questions, okay? So you need to, uh, we're going to kind of overshoot the time, but of course we'll try and answer as much as possible. Um, uh, Pr uh, Prakriti Mudgal is, uh, Mudgil is asking, does it mean that it is better to, it is better to a quality photographer than a photoshopper? <laughs> Can you answer that question, please? No, no, I don't see uh, what's the bad thing about being a Photoshopper. Some people like composite <laughs> images and some people like uh, doing uh, creative things. I've seen like really stunning work uh, uh, in composite photography. Like they do a lot of yeah. uh, things. Only uh, thing is you have to, uh, it's, it's not a bad thing to be a Photoshopper also. I don't uh, say, I think it's a bad thing. Uh, only what, we is, uh, what we are trying to say that have a clear idea as to what we are going to do. Clear idea of what you are going to do. That's a, just pre-visualize. We have something called pre-visualization where you just visualize how the shot is going to come, where the light is going to come from, and what kind of light are you going to use, what's the kind of feel that you have to go, get everything. Then uh, you can be a good photographer and uh, even a good photoshopper also. Not a, not a bad thing at all. Sure. Wonderful. Since we are talking about photography, I am telling you that try to get the shot as close as possible, 90, 90%. Ab absolutely. Gopinath Ram is asking, how to calculate pricing for a shoot? How to calculate? I don't understand, sir. Our cost or... Pricing, cost? how to cost, yeah. How to estimate a shoot. At the cost of a shoot. Cost of a shoot. So there are a lot of yeah. things that uh, we need to do. Uh, we have to uh, sit with the production team. 
we have to have a good production team like uh, we are doing a celebrity shoot and we need to sit with the production team like uh, we have a, a shift here in, uh, in uh, chennai and we all this movie industry people they have a shift like uh, morning 6 to 9 is a shift and 9 to 6 another shift uh, 6 to 9 even uh, night uh, 9 o'clock is another shift and all this uh, then 9 to 2 is another shift so we have to just uh, sit with them and plan what's the shift are you going to finish the shoot in 9 to 6 are you going to extend the shoot from 9 to 9 all these things or uh, we have to uh, sit with the production team and uh, only then we we have to we can uh, come at a pricing uh, instead of that if you uh, if you just uh, think like okay i'll try to uh, do this and uh, we'll just try to manage somehow then we uh, will get into trouble it's better to sit with a proper production team and then uh, work on the cost what do you say sir yeah so that also um, you know, comes with a lot of experience. Uh, you know, experienced photographers, uh, when they are given a creative brief, they tend to anticipate the costs that are, uh, you know, you are going to uh, 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 incur during that shoot, right from, uh, you know, your own personal cost, your equipment cost, your, uh, your, digital images cost, digital image retouching costs. Then, of course, you have your models, you have your makeup, then you have your costumes, you have your wardrobe, then you have your location, then you have your Bye. lighting gear, grip gear assist. So you need to break down all those departments that are required to be called in during the shoot. All right. Uh, then estimate how much time that you're going to uh, uh, give or take for that shoot to complete, put the price, okay? Some prices, some costs are your own costs. Some costs needs to come from a, 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 a person who is a contributing creative uh, person like the stylist, the makeup people, the set designer, production assistant. So they will all give you cost for uh, uh, for that particular, uh, you know, input that they're going to bring in. Now, you are the captain of the ship, all right, or captain of the team. Uh, you are the one who's taken the creative brief, either from the client or from the advertising agency or whoever that you are working for. Then you will in turn call your team, which is, which, like I told you, all these people will come together. You will in turn brief that creative to your client, take their input, take their cost, put it all down. And then at the end, you will also add for unexpected, uh, you know, like suspense expenditures, like unexpected climate, bad climate, bla sir, bad how, weather. How thing I, uh, can I add here, sir? Yeah, Just of course, thing. please. Sir, uh, how much uh, will you pay for a hibiscus, sir? How much will anybody hibiscus flower? A hibiscus flop. Just one I, hibiscus I think it should, I think I think it should come free. It's, it should come free, right? Yeah. So we had this uh, shoot for a hibiscus oil. It's a really big brand. So we had okay. planned the entire shoot up till uh, the, like 99% uh, we had planned everything. Okay. Yeah. On the shoot day and before that, we had a heavy, uh, we had heavy rainfall in Chennai and everything got like destroyed. Like the streets were running, overflowing with water and everything. The shoot had to go on somehow. So we had to get a, we had, my production team had to find a hibiscus flower somewhere in the outskirts of Chennai. And we paid 2000 uh -huh. rupees for the hibiscus flower because the travel up and down and everything. The hibiscus yeah. flower came with a nice uh, cotton, uh, cotton <laughs> packing and everything. It came yeah. because it immediately built. Once you take yeah, it out, yeah. it limited. So it, it yeah. we spent yeah. 2000 rupees for the flower. This is like uh, what you said that unexpected uh, cost. Yeah. Sometimes so all these things we have to factor in. We, we simply can't uh, call up a makeup artist and say, I have a shoot. Uh, so we have to just give them a lot of input, like how many people do they have to do makeup for and uh, what kind of look and all these things. This material cost is involved. So it's better yeah. to uh, discuss with the production team before you commit on the cost. Absolutely. So there are lots of unpredictables uh, in the shoot. So you need to, so experience is what will tell you all that. So, for example, a friend of mine who was doing a film production with a big Hindi movie celebrity, uh, he estimated for everything. The shoot went on and the celebrity landed up with some 80 
a, a, a number entourage. The celebrity had 80 people, eight, zero people accompanying him to the shoot. Now, if they want chai, coffee, breakfast, or or lunch, you have to provide. Correct. It's a part and from, as from, a from where they are asking, from, from where they want. We can't just give them what yeah, they, we can so, afford. So, 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 so these are unexpected expenditure. Now, feeding 80 people can cost you as much as the production itself, production cost itself. So, experience is what will get you. So, there is no sh shortcut answer to uh, tell you to how to price. You need to factor in every component that is that goes into the shoot. You have to. Uh, uh, you you will burn your fingers at some time, you know. Got it. But Got it. an experienced photographer will definitely will foresee it. Uh, you have to play your own devil's advocate. You know, you need to look for all those probable things that can go wrong and provide for it in your experience and explain it to the client that this is why it is so costing so much and all those expenses that you never had to incur you will of course refund or you will not bill for especially power power is one thing that a lot of people will uh, overlook like they will say uh that there's not much power cut that happens in this uh in this area let's just uh do the shoot and suddenly if there is a power cut some maintenance thing then we'll get stuck so instead of just yeah. for saving some five thousand six thousand on a generator we'll be like stuck with the entire day of uh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, shooting nothing so so yeah. all these uh, small small things that we have to uh, think like where it can go wrong it's always sure. like uh it's not a uh, uh, like uh, I think uh, we have to uh, factor in a lot of things before you uh, come come to a pricing. So that usually comes with, like I was telling, with your experience. Experience, uh, only, yes. But start shooting. That's the right way. Yes, sir. Um, and ask around. Take help from your friend photographers. Uh, tell them what you are uh, looking for. And if, whenever you are doubt, instead of burning your fingers, ask ask your friends, ask your colleagues. Uh, they'll tell you what to expect. What you know, you're going to an unknown location for a shoot. You should find out if you, any of your friend photographer has gone to that location. Ask them how the local uh, people behave. Is food available? Is drinks available? Can you shoot in such and such location? Do I require prior permission? Will that cost money? Do I have? You know, there are times when you have. I mean. I know it is not politically right to talk about it, but there are times when, you know, sometimes you have to bribe your way to people, you know, you have to tip people to, uh, like, you know, allow you to shoot some extra hours and things like that. Uh, even after getting full permission, you still have to, you know, take care of certain unexpected expenses and things like that. So you must definitely talk about it. And I'm sure getting into those uh, shoots. So being a successful photographer is not, you know, it doesn't end with just clicking some good looking images. You need to really be uh, the captain of the ship. Yeah, so you need what to manage you said all. Is very, very valid, sir. What you said now is very valid. We yeah. need to uh, think about the uh, location permission, like police permission and all these things. Uh, again, yeah. uh, uh, once they see a celebrity, 10 people will come up and land, uh, land in the shooting spot fully drunk. <laughs> then you need some help from the police to uh, uh, yeah like, take care uh, of them take care of yeah. that so all this we have yeah. to factor in before it's not like we yeah. we go and stand nobody is going to come but if a celebrity suddenly comes then there'll be like the 10 people suddenly will come and start uh, like uh, behaving in Absolutely. a funny way so hornbill studios i think karthik hi karthik how are you i maybe miss, missed you you asked a question yesterday but i was hoping that you would come on to the board and be in in the live session but anyway karthik is asking people who came from film always have the best discipline in workflows almost always he says saying that i mean the the the, the film uh, people who have worked in the film uh, era Ha, seems to, I mean, definitely have better discipline. I agree with that. Not that you don't have it in, in, in digital, but uh, because people who have started uh, their photography on the, uh, using digital cameras, sometimes for reason, uh, 
various reasons have not is not really aware of certain disciplines that a film photographer used to you know uh, uh, observe so yeah uh, as always uh, you know kati has a point here um now the stuns of questions are we we going to we are going to quickly go through it uh, sridhara sridhara hegde is saying which godox flash is good for beginners AD2, how about AD200? It's a very good flash. You can go for AD200 Pro, actually. AD200 Pro uh, is what uh, Prasanna, Prasanna sir is uh, uh, suggesting. Uh, okay, so there's one more question related to your, uh, uh, you know, uh, oh, oh, wonderful. I, see, look at, look who is here. Dabu Ratnani is just <laughs> Dabu just stopped in to say hi. Big Thank you very you much, Dabu. This is this is this is, this is amazing. I mean, wonderful. Thank you very much uh, for dropping in. By the way, he is now a Godox uh, mentor. Godox, uh, mentor. Uh, he's a Godox mentor, and uh, uh, so um, I'm sure Nikita will be very happy this evening to see one of their, you know. Top mentor. What do you call Top flagship, 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 flagship mentor in 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 the in the chat box today? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, so we have uh, Bhavesh as usual. Bhavesh has a question. Like people say, I am a natural light shooter. You can say I am not skin right <laughs> retoucher shooter. <laughs> Bhavesh, you all always have a funny spin on. Everything that we discuss here, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for being, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a very, very. Uh, uh, you are actually a good motivator. I mean, present in all our sessions, you keep yeah, I've seen, uh, asking seen questions. You participate, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, now, Gopinath is asking an interesting question: uh, uh, How to approach brands, shops for shoots? how to calculate pricing for shoots so how to calculate we already mentioned uh how do you get your client what's the right way what do you you how what do you do i know so some people first may thing not is want we to. have to get a proper portfolio ready sir our portfolio has to be ready like uh, if, you have, if you want to go into fashion photography then you have to have the right kind of pictures to show to your clients so, so a lot of uh, beginners uh, make the mistake of showing multiple genres of uh, pictures to clients like if i'm going for a uh, going to a fashion brand, uh, I might, I might, I sometimes what happens is beginners they'll have a variety of pictures in their like some landscape will be there, uh, some uh, bird photos will be there, some art photos will be there, some uh, uh, street pictures will be there. So please don't show them uh, all these pictures. Just show what is relevant to the client. So try to uh, try to like uh, create work which is relevant to your uh, to your genre. Yeah, then mm. you can start uh, slowly approaching. There's a lot of things. Uh, there are a lot of clients are on Instagram. You can just ping them, then just show them your work and see if they like your work. They'll, they'll definitely, uh, if your work is good, they'll definitely reciprocate. But only thing is, show the right work to the uh, right right kind of people. Mm. Don't show mm. everything to. Uh, I've shot some really good uh, uh, landscape, but I don't show them to uh, uh, show that to my uh, fashion client who wants to have an immediate fashion shoot because that's not relevant to them. They might appreciate that it's a good picture, but uh, they might want to see your uh, uh, fashion work. Okay. What, so, what do you think, sir? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you need to first decide what kind of photography do you, you want to do, one. Uh, what kind, what is that you are good at? You need to have an estimation. I mean, if you are good with people, but you know if, if you're good with interior photography and because it is glamorous you want to work with celebrities and fashion models and you're not good with it i don't think uh, you will uh, succeed you you will definitely get work but you need to figure out what you are good at one then build a very strong portfolio i'm not saying you should not try the other genre but you must definitely but try and build what you're good at what you are naturally good at build a nice portfolio 10 20 images share it i mean in the olden days we used to physically carry prints yeah, and yeah, share it okay, with yeah. our clients and yeah art directors and creative directors and clients we meet them personally you know show the work in large prints that's what we used to do in those days now of course you can uh, you know people already know the kind of work because you are present in so in social uh, 
uh, media, you have your own website, you share it with and try and meet them, um, get into our discussion. Uh, then, of course, see, there is a there is a saying called out of sight, out of mind. OK, uh, you need to be constantly in in the radar of the of your client or your advertising agency because your client or your agency did not give you work even after you know calling them 10 times 20 times no don't go out of their sight there will be one day when their most favorite photographer will not be available and then suddenly see kisko who should i call now and they will remember you in case if you are already in Oh, regularly. That, that's how in, I got my first them. break, sir. That's how I got my first break. My there you first go. break, uh, my biggest break. That that's how I got. It was not supposed yeah. to be. Uh, who was? Uh, I was not the person who was supposed to shoot. Uh, yeah, but in the last minute, they, uh, their uh, photographer was uh, not there, and uh, I was like uh, persistently uh, sending pictures and going and meeting the art director. They said, "Okay, let's just try this new guy," and that's how I got my first break. Absolutely. So uh, Absolutely. that's one thing that you have to. And the other thing is, uh, of course, you have to develop on your soft skills, like uh, your communication skills, uh, how you behave, your attitude, everything. You have to, if you want to do a uh, shoot with a like shoot for a fashion brand or with a celebrity, you have to work on your soft skills also. The technical skills, which we call the hard skills, like uh, the camera settings and all this, is just okay. But the soft skills also is where you have to concentrate the most. Like how to how okay. to behave, how to communicate on the field and everything. So mm -hmm. please uh, keep that in mind. I'm so happy that the king of uh, uh, celebrity photography in India has dropped in to say hi. hi. <laughs> so happy, paisa vasul moment, huh? Today, hi, yes, sir. Hi, yes, sir. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, all right, uh, somebody is asking. Um, sorry, let me take the first one. Uh, Masood Sheikh is saying, in my humble opinion. Take the best shot in RAW and put it in RAW converter like Capture One. You will get the best result. So, uh, so he is encouraging you to shoot RAW. I mean, definitely, yeah. you, you you should definitely shoot in RAW. JPEG is not uh, an option at all. Karthik BS is saying more light, more details on light metering, importance of photography, or better output. Yes, so we uh, normally we are professional photographers. We use a light meter, dedicated light meter. Uh, like uh, we never shoot without a light meter because uh, we need to get the perfect, uh, uh, perfect ratio. Like what we do is we first fix the working aperture. Like we don't uh, keep all lights in one place. Then we'll uh, take a multiple reading. We first fix a working aperture, which is like my I want uh, only this much. Uh, with the background not focused, then my working aperture will be like like uh, four or the uh, 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 four or something like that. Then we set the light according to that. So for that, we definitely use a handheld light meter, like a Siconic uh, light meter. I use a Siconic. I've been using Siconic uh, for the past twenty years, and um, mm -hmm. uh, we definitely use a Siconic light meter. So the light metering, oh. uh, this this will help you to get the accurate result. Uh, before the celebrity steps in for the shoot, you will take a test shot with your assistant and everything. Everything is ready and everything, you just keep on clicking. It's not like you have to take a picture, then again go and see and everything. There won't be uh, time for that. So uh, you just have to keep everything ready. Everything has to be perfect and in the correct ratio. For that, uh, I use a handled uh, light meter, like a Siconic. All right. Uh, there's an interesting question from Deepak Mishra. Deepak is from Bihar. He's asking, I want to do it in the proper way, meaning he wants to learn photography and do it in the proper way. Uh, what should he do? Get admission in photography college or invest that money behind, uh, uh, behind, I don't know, behind, behind, there's one more, behind, uh, there's that the, the question is continued behind a camera and lenses and learn from online sources. Your answer will be valuable. So he's saying, how will he learn photography? Do you want? Is it is it better going to a photography school or invest that money into a camera and learn from online sources? Sir, uh, my answer might be a little uh, disappointing or controversial. I don't prefer uh, photography uh, co colleges as of now, like uh, right now. 
because uh, in the olden days like when we started uh, going and getting admitted in a pro uh, photography college was a good idea because that was the only source uh, for learning uh, the mm -hmm. only thing with this uh, photography courses are like really expensive like 3 lakhs 4 lakhs we have to invest 3 lakhs 4 lakhs on a photography course then we have to invest on the equipment and everything that's a lot of uh, financial burden and mm -hmm. uh, one thing about this uh, digital is like, uh, like it's changing like really fast like you said uh, artificial intelligence is taking over and all these things are really fast so any of these syllabus based systems uh, where uh, you learn for three, uh, three years, you come out, you see a lot of things has changed. Uh, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. So what we can do is we have a uh, lot of online uh, platforms like we have uh, courses in Pixel Village, we have workshops, uh, try to attend workshops, try to uh, get, uh, get in touch with good photographers and see if you can work with them. That will give you a lot of uh, practical experience because any photography college or course that will give you uh, maybe the technical aspects you can learn everything but the uh, real field scenario that is uh, what's going to make you make or break so that uh, mm -hmm. that part you need to uh, uh, get from an actual photographer actual working working photographer who is like uh, shooting and you can uh, you can learn a lot from them so uh, don't invest in equipment now just try to join a good photographer do uh, attend a lot of online uh, sessions online workshops and everything then you can uh, start slowly start learning and the business part you can learn from the photographer himself okay uh, so the, since we are at uh, since we are talking about online online you know photography learning i'd like to quickly share our website uh, 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 deepak misra uh this is our website uh we have a website called pixelvillage.com and we have lots of very senior photography mentors teaching it's very affordable also. it's very affordable one of the most affordable photography online sessions we have lots of class uh, you know classes uh, on various subjects you know small studio photography landscape uh, wedding photography studio lighting we also have an app okay on uh, on android download you know pay a small fee and uh, watch and learn and also interact with the uh, also interact with the mentors so we have the all these are of course here, here you are president sir is right there um, lots of very senior photography mentors here who are teaching photography so deepak you can uh, uh, i am uh, i'm hoping that the, uh, the you know uh, his name is deepak because it's written d d p a k misra deepak misra uh, i hope that's your name uh, you can take a look at uh, our website ask questions uh, there are whatsapp message possibilities there we can definitely talk about it. Uh, there is one, one, one interesting uh, suggestion to you, uh, Prasanna, sir, from Gufran. He's saying you should make YouTube video. I already have a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Gufran, uh, uh, Prasanna, sir, has a YouTube uh, channel uh, uh, with fantastic sorry. subscriptions. Uh, uh, and you, should, uh, you uh, must, def you must definitely go and video. watch. Yeah, 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 you can. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, I'll WhatsApp you the image, sir, please. No, no, share it, share it in the in the uh, uh, chat and I'll share that with the with uh, share the link in the you can share the link in the comments column so he, they can click and go from there. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. OK, in the meantime, we can uh, while, while you, you, you can copy and paste that in the comments column. If you can't send yes, it sir. to me in the chat. And I'll I'll share it, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, WhatsApp, you sir. And... Oh, so no, no, don't WhatsApp. Just copy yes, sir, okay. it and paste okay. paste it because I need to then again connect my WhatsApp onto the computer because I. Uh, so 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 just just copy and paste on the chat. Um. Uh, all right. Then, Prati, okay, there you go. So let me copy that. Okay, copy. And uh, here you go. This his his. Uh, uh, there you go. So it will be available for everyone to click and watch his website. Okay. Uh, Pratik, Pratik will. 
All right. This is an interesting question from Pratik Bhuthat. Um, sir, what will be the future of photographer if AI-based software replaces the craft of photographer and his editing skill? So, yeah. You want me to answer that, sir, or can you? Yeah, of course. Please go ahead. See, there are uh, certain areas where uh, uh, AI and uh, automated uh, software has already replaced, so, like you say, product photography. Uh, we have uh, uh, software like Keyshot. Then you have uh, automated uh, 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 setups where which uh, shoot product images. But as far as people photography and wedding photography is concerned, that's definitely uh, the photographer uh, will be there. Don't worry, because uh, this is a very dynamic situation and uh, it's a lot of lot of things that uh, a software will find very difficult to replicate. So as far as people photography is concerned and as far as wedding photography is concerned, you don't have to worry. You, there, there'll there definitely, definitely be some software and everything that's coming in. But uh, these uh, these fields will be always be there. Don't worry. But uh, other other things like uh, product photography and all, uh, already uh, automated softwares have uh, started replacing the photographer. All right. Wonderful. OK. Uh... OK, so now Ashish, Ashish is again back with another question is asking, does the decision on which camera body to, to be used for a shoot depend on what is the campaign, commercial shoot, etc., large format, or you have any favorite camera body? I'm a Sony user. I use a Sony A7R 3 A7R 4 uh, sometimes I shoot medium format, not large format. Large format, I used to shoot my film days. I had a Sinar uh, F1, uh, which is a 4x5 uh, large format camera. But uh, nowadays, I uh, hire a medium format camera. But only thing is medium format is a little slow. So uh, for fashion shoots, uh, it's OK. But where, if we have to go for some uh, some other shoot where there's a lot of movement and it's that we done in very quick succession. I prefer uh, a Sony A7R4 because it's almost uh, uh, the quality. Uh, it's like uh, uh, like uh, what do you say? There are a lot of uh, features that uh, the medium format uh, uh, still struggles. Like the medium format cameras are a little slow. So, uh, so if you have a Sony A7R4 or A7R3 or any uh, full frame uh, mirrorless cameras, our focus is very fast. So you can like, like uh, shoot very quickly. So yeah. I check with the client also if like if it's going for a big billboard or big size holdings or uh, thing, then we shoot in medium format. Okay, I hope you, Ashish, you got the answer here. Uh, all right, there are questions about how to create mood board and all that, which I think is slightly beyond the scope of this session uh, because there is no straight answer there. Uh, a lot of uh, Hemant uh, is asking, sir, a lot of shoots, uh, wedding photographers use higher ISOs, uh, 1250, along with sun guns. Is it a good way to shoot? See, as long it, as uh, you uh, you get the desired result, I don't think uh, shooting high ISO is a big uh, problem because nowadays, all almost all cameras uh, give very good results even at uh, even at ISO like uh, 1250 this is like a very very uh, in the olden days when we i started with the digital uh, where my uh, camera had a base ISO of 200 and then uh, once we started 400 itself it will start uh, giving a lot of grains but nowadays in 1250 is a really uh, uh, decent ISO and you can shoot only thing is you just uh, have to be sure of uh, what you want that's the only thing. Like, like if you are shooting candid photography, candid, candid wedding pictures, definitely you have to go for a higher ISO. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, great. Uh, I think Kiran. Uh, I was with Kiran yesterday. I was telling you oh. about uh, doing a session with Kiran. Kiran is saying hi, Prasanna sir. Amazing session. Thank you thank very you, much, thank Kiran. You, thank you. This is like what. Uh, morning there uh i think he is in alberta canada oh he is in alberta canada so that's where you know we were, we were doing that we were doing a session for in for his youtube channel yesterday um so this is one interesting question aditya aravind is asking can a good commercial shoot be done using av available light uh can i uh, show one picture for this sir uh, of course 
um so uh, J- how, how do i how do i share sir uh, i think the same thing i think you'll have to what send i mean again i need <laughs> to connect uh, uh, send a uh, what up whatsapp message i think that's okay. the only way uh you know so if if you do that then i will share that with uh, our viewers today and thank you very much everyone for staying you know uh, uh, so long i mean this is uh, this is amazing uh, we still have close to 200 people watching oh, oh that's amazing so right. even after 1 hour 45 minutes that means uh, sir you have lots of followers and uh, they all want to listen it's to all because, of, because of you sir what's on pixel village no, uh, no, no 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 then i should get them every day <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. I uh, don't uh, think I have the picture here. One second, sir. Okay. So. I'm just trying to get. Uh, okay, I'll just uh, WhatsApp you, sir. Oh, all right. So I will check for that. Um, really sorry, uh, sir, because uh, I think some either some goof of, uh, from my side or uh, what? No, no, no. I I don't know why I'm not able to share the screen. No, that's what. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, okay, Prasanna, your message image has come. I'm going to download that now. It is downloaded. So I'm opening it now. And now let me. Uh, share this uh, with our people. So let me quickly share uh, the screen, the window. Which window should I share? Oops. Uh, okay. So I'm going to kind of share. Sorry. Let me quickly go here. Okay, and that's a screen. Okay, can you see now? Yes, sir. All right, so you can please continue talking about uh, it. I just want to explain about this image. Of course, you can uh, do a natural light. Uh, one day thing is the natural light is not predictable. Uh, it's like it keeps on changing, like color temperature will keep on changing, and everything. That, that's not very uh, predictable. Sometimes it's okay if the weather is good or uh, uh, that's okay but so, but sometimes the weather can be very unpredictable okay like i will come to this shot so this was uh, shot in one of my workshops where there were 125 participants from all over uh, south india we had this uh, shoot that uh, this workshop that was happening in a place called kothagiri kothagiri is a hill station so we had an elaborate setup of uh, uh, if you say uh, uh, flowers and all this, everything, everything we had, everything planned, everything perfectly. And, uh, unfortunately, the whole night it rained like really heavily, and the morning there was zero visibility in the field. There was total zero visibility. There's no sun sunlight at all, and everything got washed away. All these flowers, decoration, everything got washed away. So I had only two choices. I had 125 people standing behind my back. Uh, just waiting. Okay, how are we going to do it? What are we going to do? Then I have another option telling them there is no light. We can all go back home. This is the second option that I had. So what I have done here is I have shot again with incandescent white balance with a slight a warm gel on the AD200. So sometimes you have to use artificial light because natural light is not always very dependable. So suddenly there's a cloud. That comes and closes the sun. Then you you can uh, in uh, uh, that uh, if you uh, watch uh, film shoots uh, closely, there's a person here, the cinematographer, who will be like uh, having a small round uh, sunglass kind of a thing, just looking at the clouds. He'll say the clouds passing, clouds passing. So what is he doing? He's like seeing if the cloud is going to cover the sun. Then the color temperature will change. So if there's a hero who is doing a dialogue, then at one point his face is warm. Suddenly the light becomes dull. Then it uh, also exposure changes. changes. The exposure will change. Color balance will change, and everything will change. So what we do is we use artificial light. We have uh, we use natural light, but we supplement it with artificial light. 
so that at least for the subject the color tone color tone remains the same uh, same especially for videos if you see that if there's a jump in exposure or jump in color color shift color balance you know, it's very uh, it will be very disturbing to the eye you can do commercial shoots but uh, i uh, i suggest that you also learn how to do uh, with artificial light okay hope uh, uh, let me how do i you know, i need to quickly stop sharing yeah stop sharing all right wonderful okay so hope you got the answer there uh, what are, what is was my question there are still questions coming in um can i share uh, one more picture sir <sighs> Ah, uh, so try, try if 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 your if your if your system is behaving now, maybe you can try and you know uh, share it from I there. Just, uh, try, I just want to. One question on is: Is five D Mark III still relevant in twenty twenty one? A question. Yeah, it's a very good camera, right? Absolutely, I totally agree. It's a it's a very good camera unless you are shooting a lot of video. Uh, if you are sh shooting a lot of video, you may want four K uh, support. Uh, and slow mo support, which that camera do not have. But if it's uh, stills that you're aiming, it's a very valid camera even now. 5D Mark IV. There are two cameras which I personally think that it's one of the best cameras ever made is 5D Mark III and Mark IV and D850 from Nikon. These two yeah. DSLRs are ever great, yes. all time, uh, you know, favorite cameras of mine. So I'll send you uh, one picture by WhatsApp, sir. Uh, so it's not still. Uh, it's not still. Uh, no, sir. It's, uh, it's not able. I'm not able to share. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, so what do I do? Um, I need to. I think some issue with my laptop, or I don't know. All right. Uh, so we, let's see. I mean, fortunately, we have, though it is a little roundabout, we still have we, we have some way of connecting. So let me quickly uh, get that image. Uh, okay, it is being downloaded now uh, onto the onto my computer, and I'll quickly uh, share it with you once it is downloaded. Oh. Sorry about the hold up. Oh, this is nice. This is that uh, Colabari D uh, music director, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me quickly uh, change. All right. And I have to now share my screen with you. So, yeah. So I'm going to share this screen. And of course, I'm going to go to this. Yeah, there you go. I just want to explain uh, this image quickly. This was shot for flying machine. And this uh, person is uh, Anirudh. He's a very, very famous uh, music director in uh, South, South film industry. And he's a very, very busy person also. So we had this uh, shoot planned by the flying machine team and the People magazine team and everything. All this layout and everything got, uh, was totally fixed. Like uh, It's like Anirudh is sitting in a, it's just sitting enjoying music and uh, with sunlight coming through the uh, through the window and uh, he's just enjoying uh, music and he's just wearing this flying machine shirt and flying machine jean. That's that's a layout and that's the client's brief, which we cannot change. Okay, so we had planned the shoot at around. Uh, I had done a recce for the play of the place and we found out the correct light comes around say like four o'clock in the evening and uh, we had planned the shoot uh, for four o'clock. Everything was ready. But unfortunately, Anirudh, uh, some due to some unforeseen thing, he got delayed. So when he came, it was around uh, 9.30, uh, 9.45, something like that. It's a total night. Okay, but uh, there was two options before me. That one was like, uh, it's totally dark. We can't shoot. We have to reshoot some other day. Okay, which we that's not uh, that's not possible because again we have to get the celebrities appointment. It's very difficult to get it. So what I have done is I have uh, pasted uh, uh, gateway tracing paper for the windows and I have shot, uh, I have just kept uh, two flashes outside the window and we have replicated uh, that sunlight field. So this is, uh, yeah. we have to learn, uh, uh, definitely we have to, at one point of time, we have to learn how to use flash 
and how to use artificial light uh, natural light is good but at least in one point of time we have to learn how to use artificial light so here what has happened is we have not compromised on the client's brief which is uh, he is sitting in daylight enjoying the music and we also got the shot done and uh, we have this is like what we have uh, what i was telling you we have to have one plan b so i always carry all these filters gels and all this diffusion material in my bag, camera bag my lighting bag and everything so wherever possible we try to manage that situation so here we have, what we have done is we have given the same kind of effect that the client wants so the client was very happy that we could uh, pull it off at that time and the shoot got over by say around i think 11 o'clock in the night it was pitch dark outside no <laughs> light <nothing>. okay. <laughs> so in this picture you can see that it's like some sunlight that's coming in okay wonderful um sorry friends because you know some of those my notifications on the desktop was kind of popping up i couldn't help that's why i wanted to discourage uh, you know showing images from whatsapp <laughs> anyway no mind all right um uh, so we have we are closing in on the 2 hour mark uh i think it is probably time to you know take it easy because prasanna uh, is not exactly in great shape he's he is a little under the weather uh so um yeah so in case if you have any questions what i would request you we will have this live on our, on our website the session will be live on our on our youtube channel um you can you will we will try and uh, get these questions unanswered questions we'll try and copy them and paste it in the comment from the live comment to the uh, comment column and uh, try and answer uh, them as much as possible um so so uh, i'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone everyone who's joined uh, the session um you know uh, i'll definitely want to thank uh, prasanna for his uh, patient a patience and uh, you know I'm you know sure all sharing all, uh, and also also nikita distributors and godox for supporting this live event thank you very much uh, i would really appreciate if you people just you know uh, post some uh, 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 you know comments as to how you like the session what kind of improvements you want to see in our upcoming sessions and what kind of topics that you would like to uh you know uh, uh, see uh, or or like to watch uh, what kind of photographers you would like pixel village to to feature in in this uh, in this kind of sessions uh, that's one i would uh, i would please. definitely want to see uh, dabu sir in the session sir as my uh, dabu was friend. here dabu was no, no, here i want to, i want one him. session by dabu sir oh yeah absolutely uh, no no he we will we will definitely i mean we in fact had one session oh okay that was not in pixel village i did a session with dabu for uh, fuji film india uh, we will uh, try and request uh, you know some commercial senior commercial photographers to come and feature in our website uh, sorry in 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 pixel village uh, youtube channel that's that's that'll be fantastic and people generally seems to have really enjoyed i'm getting some very very positive comments here from gobindad hemant deepak misra sai rajkumar ashish siddharth uh, santosh mohanty they're all saying thank you and they enjoyed thank you, thank the you session so, much, so thank you so much so so that's wonderful please remember to follow uh prasanna venkatesh uh, on on his uh, insta handle and uh, follow his youtube channel um and also of course i am shameless to uh, <laughs> please follow pixel village uh, youtube channel and don't uh, forget to subscribe we, to <laughs> uh yeah follow and subscribe uh, pixel village channels uh, to uh you know kind of looking forward to uh meeting you in the next session we are planning to do that very soon stay tuned i'll keep updating you on our uh, fb page and youtube uh, community posts and of course through whatsapp shares as well so thank you very much everyone please stay safe take care of everyone in your you know take care of yourself first then take care of everyone at home take care of your the senior members at home especially don't be adventurous it's not yet time to start rejoicing um uh, uh 
use this time to improve yourself. That's the only thing that you can do. Catch up on all the things that you have missed, uh, you know, in, in the so-called rat, rat race of, you know, the professional life. Uh, well, once again, thank you very much. Thank you, Prasanna. Thank you, Nikita. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so and much. And, uh, thanks to all the safe. participants and uh, thanks to all the... Uh, Absolutely wonderful today. participants, and thank you and, very uh, much. Uh, there's a lot of uh, behind the scenes videos in my uh, YouTube channel. You can uh, please go and watch if you want to learn how a shoot is done. There's a lot of uh, there's plenty of uh, behind the scenes videos uh, in uh, my YouTube channel. You can just go and watch how we shot, we uh, how how we plan a shot, and everything. We it's there. Uh, you can uh, go and watch. And thank you, thank you so much, uh, sir. And uh, I really miss our Pune days, and uh, I really, really miss the uh, awesome <laughs> hopefully, food. Actually. Hopefully, awesome food hopefully. in that. Uh, I don't remember the place where you took me, but the food was really awesome. <laughs> oh yes, you know, you know. Usually, you say, "God willing, we will meet." But it looks yes. like we have to say, "If Corona willing, we Corona will meet willing, again." Will meet. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. <laughs> you know. So thank you very much once again. Thank you. See you, thank friends. You, Take care. Thank you. Bye thank you. for now. Oops.